Hey guys, it's Beefcake here. And Michael from Industrial Primer. With our first video in the series, we'll be introducing the classes of Team Fortress 2 individually. Starting with the most annoying class, the Scout. Yeah, why don't you come over and say that in my face, tough guy? Don't you start. Hey, look at me, Ma! The Scout is the most annoying class in the game, especially if you're playing a slow class like the Heavy or the Soldier. The scout merrily bounces around you and shoots you from what seems like every bloody direction while you're trying to keep up with him. That's because the scout has the double jump ability which allows him to fly by all those slower classes. Unless others have good reflexes, then you may have a bit of a problem. The scout's major disadvantage is his low health, which happens to be the lowest in the game. Also, his weapons are fairly short range, which makes him a very in-your-face character. However, if the weapon is upgraded in MVM mode, or if you're using a non-stock weapon with good traits, he can be quite lethal. In MVM, facing up against hordes of incoming robots for the scout isn't such a good idea. Although effective at close range, he doesn't have enough health to take a beating and he can't escape if he's surrounded by scout bots. Although this class allows the user to take big risks because of his short respawn time, so you can get back into the fight sooner than the other classes. Another advantage for the scout during MVM mode is his wider money gathering rank than the other classes. He also collects health with the money he picks up. Well, now that we're done idolizing the fantastic scout, let's go through the purchasable upgrades in MVM mode. Because of the scout's low health, bullet resistance and blast resistance are always a good choice depending on what's coming up in the next wave. Health regen is always good considering he can take a real beating at close range. For any class, health on kill is always a good option. If medipacks are scarce, dispensers are out of reach or if there are no friendly medics around. If the weapon you have for scout has a low clip size, consider choosing low clip so you don't have to reload as often. Ammo capacity is also great since bots don't drop any ammo and running to find ammo may not be an option. Scout has the option of having projectile penetration which means you can hit bots and the bullets will follow through which is great for Scout. Again, clip size, ammo capacity and health on kill are probably the most important choices here. I would stick to using his primary weapon unless you prefer his pistol. Attack speed is always good if you upgrade the Scout's movement speed. Running around and bashing the bots is a good way to get rid of those scout bots. Okay guys, that is it for the scout class. Join Beefcake and myself next Thursday for the soldier class analysis. See you guys next Thursday.